I'm Casey Janes. I'm here with Jen Moat today. She's from Bergner's here to talk about the Bergner's for St. Jude 2.0. Yeah, 2.0 Decatur Auto Dealers tent sale. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so we have version 2.0. Can you tell everybody why that is? Well, our first one uh, last month, we had a little bit of rain. So uh, some of our events got rained out, and uh, the Decatur Auto Dealers contacted us and asked if we would like to try it again so that we could raise a little bit of money for St. Jude, and that's what we're going to do. Now, the rain didn't stop everything from happening, though. You still had your two guests, Brushville and Buddy Jewel. They moved inside. You had crowds inside. How well did you do financially with that first show? Uh, we did really well. Um, actually, we uh, raised about $7,500. Um, our goal was about $15,000 uh, for our event. And now with uh, the Decatur Auto Dealers on board, uh, we believe that we have a chance of reaching that goal. So a big part of this is focusing around the car show portion, which is the big thing that really seemed to get rained out last time, along with the car show also having the motorcycles. So... As far as that goes, what's the goal financially for this one, and do you expect to have a similar turnout to last time, or do you expect it to be even bigger with more promotion time? We hope that it'll be a little bit bigger. Um, of course, we're going to have our car and bike show, and the entry fee is $10, um, and we are also going to have our car wash. Um, and if you come by, you stop by and you donate for the car wash, we're also going to give you a free entree uh, at Texas Roadhouse. And we'll have our kids' tent up and going. Um, we'll also have our hot dog plate and our burger sheds. We are going to do that again. Um, we have our kids' corner, and we'll be also be doing our bake sale. Uh, and another thing that we'll be doing is um, collecting donations of crayons, Play-Doh, coloring books, children's storybooks and puzzles. We've collected almost 1,500 items uh, so far, but we're hoping to collect just a little bit more. Now, those hot dog plates, I mean, you might as well come and expect a meal. Those are Heinkel's hot dogs, so those, those are enormous. Can you tell people how to get those? Absolutely. Um, you know, Heinkel's has been a big sponsor of ours um, every year that we do this. And uh, for a donation, any donation, everything that we do is a donation, um, you can come in and uh, get a hot dog plate, and it consists of a hot dog, a cookie, chips, and a drink. And uh, you can have a fabulous lunch um, at our St. Jude event. And what does the kids' corner consist of? Well, uh, this one, uh, we will have a couple of our princesses there, uh, so the, the kids can spend a little bit of time with them. And uh, you can also um, color, create a card for one of the St. Jude kids. Uh, you all will be playing games. Uh, we'll have some hula hoop contests going on. And uh, we will also have make-a-wish fairs. Um, so that you can uh, get those for a donation, and they are the cutest things. And if you go to our Facebook page at Bergner's for St. Jude, you can uh, get a little bit more information on those. So you're collecting the crayons, Play-Doh, coloring books, children's storybooks, and puzzles on the day of the kids for St. Jude event. But I've also heard that you do this year-round. These two events aren't everything that you do with St. Jude. Uh, absolutely. Um, we collect those year-round in the store. Um, it's been a wonderful thing, you know. Uh, I can be in the, just walking through the store, and people will approach us uh, with bags full of coloring books and crayons and um, tell us they're for the kids of St. Jude. So uh, it's nice to see that happen. And back to the car show, what kind of awards are you going to have for the cars and the bikes on that day? Well, we do have trophies, um, and we also have door prizes that we'll be giving out. Um, we've got uh, buckets that have been given to us from AutoZone. Um, we also have some prizes that um, Bergner's has put together ourselves. And it looks like it's a pretty good rundown. I mean, if you don't have the $100,000 car, you've still got a chance because they have the people's choice. You have best interior, best engine, best paint, best vintage, best stock, best modified, best of show. So there's plenty of ways to win. And obviously it's not about winning. The winning's for the kids, but a lot of ways to get out there and get your car recognized. Can you tell everybody what day this is on and where it's going to be held and what time? 
absolutely. It's June 13th uh, for 10, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it's at the south end of the mall um, in the Bergner's parking lot, and it'll be um, in connection with the tent cell. Well, that's Jen Moat from Bergner's. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you so much, Casey. We really appreciate it.